Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Now that we have the Master Sword and all of the pearls and all that, we have to go find Zelda who's been taken to Hyrule Castle. So, let's go out this way. The guards around here have been stepped up their game. But now that we have the Master Sword, let's break this barrier. Just like that. And let's go in. Now we're in the upper part of the castle. There's a lot to it here. There's also these ball and chain guys that I probably want to be careful around. Because they are pretty good at what they do. Okay, just careful, 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 careful. Okay, good. Just take you out now, since that block in the middle is the, a wall, like the half wall thing. Which works quite well for me. I can also use the uh, sword beam take out the opponents quite nicely because it pushes them back as well as hitting them. And let's keep going up. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Now I lost my sword beam because I got hit. Ah, uh, no health. Really? Okay. Well, now I don't have sword beam, so I have to be extra careful now. There's also these bats that look like eye bat. Like eye bats. For some reason. Can I hit you through the wall, please? Thank you. Can I hit you through the wall, please? Thank you. It's very nice of the game. Let's grab... Nope, no, not a heart. I was really hoping, but it was not. That's fine. Magic. Might actually be a good idea to... Uh, light some torches so we can see around. Don't need to do everything here. We just need to get to the exit with a small key. Which we don't currently have. But there is a treasure chest over there, so we can go get that. And that should help out a lot. Now, what is this block here? I don't think this block does anything. Well, it moved and did something. I don't know what, though. I don't... I don't know. There's a lot of these places where I see something and it doesn't actually do anything. In this game. Did it actually move? I think it moved that. How have I not seen that before? I don't know. Because I'm pretty sure that wasn't open before, but I guess it was. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, there's that done. So a small key, and then we just need to get to the end of here. Just like that. Okay. Good thing I got some health in that room, so I can take these guys out. No problem. He dropped a fairy. Do I have an empty bottle? No, I don't. I actually got... I actually did my job for once. It's crazy. Okay. Up the stairs. Floor four. I see you. Ow, of course you hit me. I have a shield so I can block that a lot easier than now. Well, with the upgraded shield at least. Um, let me... Uh, not that. Need to be careful here because there's some guards just hidden right out of sight. Also, whenever you hit that, like... Rattling sound. I think that's the guards alerting each other that there's Link nearby. Okay. Good, 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 good. Take that. Now there's also this this like block here that we can move but I don't know what that does if anything. There's just a few of those around. I don't know what they're for. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Also, when we, when we swing our sword, we have our shield sideways, which is interesting. Because it means we can block attacks from the side. But anyway, up we go. I think we got the... No, I don't... Hang on. I don't know how I can check. Okay, we don't have any of the dungeon items. I believe when you have the map, the compass, or the big key, it shows underneath the dungeon item and equipment stuff down there on the bottom right. Also, I just noticed that the Moon Pearl is on the this screen as well, down the bottom. Uh, now, let's take these enemies out. And maybe talk to Sarsarala. Listen well, Link. Even with the Master Sword, you cannot inflict physical harm on the wizard. You must find a way to return his own evil magic power to him. Okay, then. Seems like a plan to me. Man, I love Sword Beam. So good. Let's 
So I like this angle right here. This is a good angle. Okay. Now I just need to take you out. Another good angle. Great angles. Oh my goodness. So good angles. Usually I don't like angles, but right now, they're really working out for me. Also, this is not a great place to be. I don't know how I dodged that. <laughs> I don't know how I dodged that at all. Uh, you can go now. Goodbye. Okay, there we go. I think we're getting close to the top now. At floor six. Ow, that's not what I wanted. Only this statue can move, which is unfortunate, but true. Oop, that's not good. It's fine, I'll take you out and take you out with a spin. Okay. I was there. Let me... Not that one. I always do that one when I'm trying to bring up my menu. Also, apparently his shield is just worse than mine. Because he can't block my arrows. Cool. Aha, Link! I have been waiting for you, hehehe. <laughs> I was hoping I could make Zelda vanish in front of your eyes. Behold, the last moment of Princess Zelda. Ho ho ho! Th with this, the seal of the seven wise men is at last broken. It is now only a matter of time before evil power covers this land. After all, the legendary hero cannot defeat us, the tribe of evil, when we are armed with the power of gold. Ho ho ho! Now I must go! Well, he's gone. But luckily for us, we can actually cut these curtains to see an exit. There's actually a reason that we could cut those earlier, because there's this one here. But anyway, Aghanim. Oh, so you mean to say you would like to be totally destroyed? Well, I can make your wish come true. It's a fairly common thing to actually miss see his sprite, because it looks like like the top of his head where the, the crown thing he's wearing makes it look like his face. Also, that's the thing that I can't deflect back at him. But his face is actually the... I'm pretty sure the white, like, lines inside of his, under his robe. But anyway, we need to hit these full, uh, magic orbs back at him. Except for when he's looking down like this and not turning to face us. That means he's gonna strike lightning. Okay, hit that back. If it's a ring of orbs, then it's gonna just not actually deflect at him. So we should try to dodge that if we can. Just in general. Nope. Come on. Give me what I need. Thank you. Actually hit him that time. Now he's doing the lightning again. Uh, I don't like you standing right on top of me. Pretty nice. Um, please be what I need. Thank you. That was very kind of you. Try to keep on the same... Axis as him. Gah! Well met! Like the true hero that you are, but I am not ready to admit defeat yet. I will draw you into the dark world. Link, it is I, Sarsarala. I am communicating to you across the void through telepathy. The place where you now stand was the Golden Land. But evil power turned it into the dark world. The wizard has broken the wise man's seal and opened a gate to link the worlds at Hyrule Castle. In order to save this half of the world, the light world, you must be back in the golden power. Uh, win back the golden power. You must also rescue the seven maidens who Ag Aghanim sent to the dark world as members of the bloodline of the seven wise men. They have power that will surely help you. The maidens are locked in the hidden in hidden dungeons full of evil creatures and dangerous traps. The Palace of Darkness should be your first goal in this world. Link, I can rely o on you on only you. Please make this old man's wishes come true. I beg you.
So there we go. And now we're back in the other world, known as the Dark World. It's the evil realm, well, the golden realm, transformed into the a world to match the evil. Anyway, the first thing we can do is jump off of the pyramid edge over here to get this piece of heart. Get another heart container, which is good because we didn't get a heart container from that fight. Uh, but now, if we use... Uh, first of all, we're actually still Link right now because we have the Moon Pearl now. From the Tower of Hera. Also, these guys are very strong. And they throw bombs. Okay. Please, thank you. Please, th thank you. Uh, this tree has a fairy in it if you need it as well. Right after everything that's happened. But if we use... Uh, the magic mirror now. We're here in the entrance of Hyrule Castle, except that... Hang on, let me move down a little bit more. So we're over in the light world now, and we go into this this gateway here. It actually pushes us into the dark world. That's why what uh, Sahasrala was talking about with the link at Hyrule Castle. Between the worlds, so... But anyway... This way, Palace of Darkness. So basically, the, the world has just expanded a whole lot more because there's twice as much to do. Uh, while we're here, we can also go down here and stand on this little patch of ground here. Which, if we had not already done so, we can use the uh, magic mirror and go onto this bridge to get the uh, empty bottle that we got already. So, that's another way you can get that. Just to get that if you didn't get it already. Uh, but anyway... Let's go over this way, since we can't really go much anywhere else. It's fine. So, let's see what we can do through here. A lot has changed in this world compared to the light world. Uh, but let's go into here, where we find a tree. You're new here, aren't you? Did you come here looking for the power of gold? Well, you're too late. It will only obey only the first person who touches it. The man who last claimed the power of uh, gold. Wished for this world. It reflected his heart. Yes, I came here because of greed for the golden power. And look what happened to me. To restore the golden land, a person worthy of the golden power must defeat the man who created this place. Until that time, I am stuck in this bizarre shape. But what a mischief mischievous thing to leave lying around. The power of gold. Triforce. Okay. All of that lore just from a tree in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but let's go back here and get some health, I guess. Just here. Also, I believe a lot of the stuff around the world has looks slightly different, but it's it's fairly similar to what it is in the world of well, the light world. Like the skulls, they're like pots, kind of. And like the flowers that you see around are like the grass. And other stuff like that. I think there are also a few <clears throat> I think there are also a few skulls that look like, or act like rocks that we've seen around. And kind of seem uh, similar to them. At least in texture and color, I guess. Uh, but anyway, let's go through here. We can kind of see our way through here to get around. But we also see that we're getting followed now by a little monkey. I'm Kiki the monkey, Kiki. I love rupees more than anything. Can you spare me 10 rupees? Sure, I'll give you 10 rupees. Kiki Kiki, good choice. I will accompany you for a while, Kiki Kiki. So, while we have Kiki following us, we cannot get hit by anything. Because we need him to follow us. Otherwise, he'll run away. And we just need to take him up to the temple over here, the dungeon. And then, Kiki Kiki, if you give me 100 rupees, I will open the entrance for you, Kiki Kiki. Ask him to open it. Kiki, good choice. Then I get 100, rupee, 100 of your rupees, Kiki Kiki. So we have to pay yet another hundred rupees to open up this Palace of Darkness. Palace of Darkness is a mirror version, or Dark World version, I guess, I don't know what... Uh, a mirror version, I guess, works, of the Palace, or the Eastern Palace. It's very different, though, in its design, but it has the same kind of look to it. Just with different color scheme and layout kind of stuff, but this is really cool. This is just so cool. Also, those things will spit fire at you, so you need to be careful of that. Press the switch, please. Thank you. Small key. We could also use our shield to block those fireballs as well. 
Now, let's see. There's a switch under here to open the door that we came through from down below, but I'm gonna go... Actually, maybe I will go back down through here. The statues around can only be pushed from one direction. Ah, uh, but let's go through here. Careful not to press the switch. Nope, just press it again. It's fine. And now... Let's take rid of get review. Those guys have uh, helmets on, so you can't hit them from the front. I don't think. Possibly not even from behind. I don't, I don't know. Maybe... No, I'm pretty sure you can get them from behind. Uh, but anyway, there's an anti-fairy here that we should probably just convert into a fairy just so it's out of the way. Although it will respawn, so. Uh, we can go in here and th have some more anti-fairies. There's also a hint from Sarsaral here. Link, can you hear me? Oh, it's, it's Zelda. Wow, okay. Link, can you hear me? It's me, Zelda. I'm locked in the in Turtle Rock on top of Death Mountain. I know you are doing your best, but please hurry. That seems very random. Just to suddenly change it from Sarsaralas to Zelda. Uh, but anyway, if I can please push this block whichever way I need to push it. Or is it just this one? It's that one. We can go back through the teleporter this way. But we probably actually go back through because it's very easy to miss, in my opinion at least. But there's a, a cracked wall in the bottom of the room here that we want to go through. So let's go through here. There's also these jellyfish enemies. Uh, when they're shocking themselves, you want to not be hitting them with your sword, otherwise you'll get hit by them. Anyway, let's go through here. And these enemies are very similar to the, um, the, 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 stat the Cyclops statues. Except these ones, they move whenever we move in the, in the, either the same direction that, like, with, as, which is what the green ones are doing. Or the opposite direction, which is what the red one is doing. Yeah. It's mostly opposite, except for, like, up and down, I guess. Let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. The red one's also a little bit tricky because it shoots out a fireball whenever we turn to face it. Oh, I'm out of arrows. I need arrows for the red one because the red one can only be hit by arrows. Also, we can shoot and miss and then move it into where we need it to be so we can hit it. Okay, I should have got more arrows. Should have unlocked the the more capacity for them. Okay, we've also got these conveyor belts on the ground, which makes things interesting. The red jellyfish split into two whenever they die, except for the small ones, which are the, 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 the split ones. They only die, they just die when, when here and are gone. But anyway, here's the dungeon map, so let's take a look at that to see how different this place is in the dark world, which is not terribly different, I guess, but very different at the same time, so. Now... Yeah, it's very, very different. Uh, let's take a few, look at a few things around here. Let's blow up this wall here. And blow up this wall here. I don't think we can do anything else other than these two side walls. Which is unfortunate because they don't actually connect to anything, which means we're going to have to use a magic mirror to get back to the beginning of the dungeon. Over here is a fairy fountain if you need fairies. And on the other side is a treasure chest with another small key in it. So let's head back to the beginning of the dungeon. Let's check out that middle path that we didn't take. I guess we also didn't take a look at the other path, though, completely. Didn't we? No, we did. I'm just crazy. It's fine. Ah, uh, now I'm pretty sure this statue can be pushed that way. And this statue can be pushed that way? Oh, that's not at all. I might just be crazy. Anyway, let's use our first key. Go through here. Also have these turtles that we need to dodge because we can't do anything about them. Push this into the hole there and fold down with it. Since we can. Now, I want to hit the switch there, grab this small key, and probably just get out of here because there's a lot of enemies that I can't really do much about. That takes us back to this room, okay. Interesting. Now, can I push this this way? Yes, I can. That's good to know. So now that we're back in here, I think I possibly want to go up this path all the way this time. Just to see what's over here. There's a treasure chest here, so that's probably the right choice to make. I'm not sure if I want... Nah, I can do this now. Probably just go across here with the red switch. Or red blocks down. Let's go through here, since we have enough... A couple of keys. Now this room we need to be fast on, because the blocks... Well, platforms behind us are actually going to break off, so we need to go really quickly. Like that. 
And there's some stuff at the end that will block you from getting out of the way. Ow, 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 ow. So rude. There's a few things in this room that we need to get. Although I don't think I'm quite ready for everything in here. Hello. Okay, just gonna move past all that. Okay, I probably should have done this after everything else. Grab that, small key. Um, hang on, wrong button, again. We only have the dungeon map right now, which is interesting because we're about to get to the big chest, which we saw along the path before. That was breaking. Because it's right through here. But we can't open this yet because we don't have the bot big, big, big key. Okay. Let's make our way through here again. It's a bit of a maze in here. I don't think there's any other treasure other than the ones I've already opened. Hopefully. Okay. Okay. Let's go down the right door as well. And see what we have over here. Well, there's a treasure chest for one thing. Let's grab that. That's the compass. So we're, we're, the game actually expected, uh, expected us to go this way, apparently. Which I don't really understand that. Not really. Uh, let's light this up so we can see what we're doing. Also might just be worth magicking those out of the way so we don't have to worry about them. Grab some rupees. The hitboxes on these rupees are a little bit weird when they're placed in like this. Nope, that's the wrong one. It would be fine in um, Link's Awakening, but not this game. Okay, arrow. A single arrow. Cool. And a small key. Nope, that's... How am I doing this? I don't know. I'm just doing everything slightly off, and it's not great. You can also see the boss door right there. In that room that we can't reach. So that's interesting. Oh, that's everything in there, so let's go down this way now. And this should loop back, I think. Let's grab that. Blue rupee. I have to be careful of these spike traps just being in the way. Okay, that loops back. Uh, but now, let's jump across here since we can. Ah! Take these enemies out if I can. That's not good. Maybe if I stand right over here. I can kind of take them out from this side. Kind of. Having the Master Sword helps. You have a lot of health. You have a lot of health. You have a lot of health. So much health. Okay, there we go. Uh, but now, let's go across here. We could also reach here from... Um... By going across the left side in the split room area. Over here. Let me just quickly check this, if there is anything over here. Oh, if there is. I should have done this before. Checking the other way. Come on. Blow up, please. Okay, now we can go down here. This is the upper area of the room that we got the chest down there by falling down after the, pushing the block down. Need a small key to get up here to get this item. Now, please be good. But big key. I, sh I really should have done that earlier. It's not even that hard to do. Oh, well. Okay, let's go down. And all around. I'm also going to grab that, since I I took a few hits. Also, we have, I think, 10 hearts right now, which is a good number to have of hearts. Okay, now... Now we go back up this way, so we can go get the dungeon item. Except I also changed the blocks. And I'm not sure... Okay, I can hit that from here, cool. That's, that's what all I needed to know. Because now I can go get the dungeon item. Go, 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 go. Okay, good. Just have to go through this maze again. Easier said than done with me, apparently. Ow, ow, ow. Especially with those guys 
doing their thing. Wish there was some way to light up the, the room. Also, there's nothing down here, is there, that I missed, right? No. Good. Just need to go through here. And here we go. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? We get the hammer. Magic hammer. You can now... You can drive the wooden stakes down into the ground. You can use it to pound on other things, too. Cool. So this is going to be helpful. A little bit. Uh, so let's pick this up. This can also do a little bit uh, of damage to enemies as well. Or well, maybe a lot of damage to enemies, apparently. Uh, okay. I don't know which way I took, but I think it took the long way. It's fine. So, when there's been turtles around... Uh, also, we can break skulls with this, which is quite helpful. Whenever there's been these turtle enemies, we can actually hit the ground near them, and it'll flip them over, which makes them able to be hit. Otherwise, they just have shells protecting them. So we have that now. Ah, uh, but we need to find the way forward now. There's also that uh, area where I showed we had to use the magic mirror to go back. There's some, uh, like, pegs there that we can... Oh, jump across, jump across, jump across. Okay. I'll just show in a second. Uh, let's hit that. Go through here. So there are those red happy face pegs there. If you hit those with a hammer, you can jump down here. Uh, but we needed to go get the hammer first, so... Well, I guess that would be the, the main thing. That would have to do anyway to even do that, but still. We needed to do the old hammer, getting the hammer stuff before going up this path is the main thing. Uh, so let's get rid of these, get some hearts. I'm not sure if the button needs to be hit or not. Oh, but I do need arrows again. Can I hit you with my regular hits? Yes, I can. Important question. Okay, and now let's do that. Very nice. Very nice. Maxed out everything. Okay, so we need to hit that switch up there, if I can. So let's hit that. Just need to go through when the spike trap goes away. And now we're at a dead end, but you can also see the edge of the wall is not... doesn't have the brick pattern on it. So we need to bring out our arrows and shoot the eye of this statue. Also, I just realized that the... the game, what I'm watching, is shaking. But the... the recording doesn't have the shaking on it for some reason. I don't understand why exactly. It might just be my preview? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, we've got some more turtles in here to take out. Please. Turtle-like enemies, at least. Um... Okay, now we need to hit that. From a distance, so we can get across here. There goes the last key. Okay, hammer again. Very nice. 20 rupees. Always good again. How do we have so many rupees right now? Also, how much damage do I do with the hammer against these guys? Probably more than I would using my sword. Yeah, a lot more. Well, there we go. We could also light those torches just to see a little bit better, but we don't need to. Uh, over here, more torches, but I think we need to push this block out of the way, and we can go in here and teleport to the end. Very nice. We need a hammer for going forward. Let's go in. Here we go. We need to hit his face with the hammer. We can already see we've chipped off a bit of his helmet. We also need to be careful of his fire heat that he spits out, and also careful of his tail. And also just him. Can't go behind him because there are spikes there. Oh my goodness, just so many things. Just try to line yourself up with the, the fire closest to you so it doesn't hit you. Ooh, wow! That's probably fine. I have... I have... I have health. I'll just rely on the fairies for a little bit. Okay, well... Here we go. First fairy. 
And this is with all of the, the hearts I could possibly pick up. Okay. Once his helmet's gone, just stab at his face. Also, apparently, maybe don't run from his tail. Try to get in closer to him. Ow, 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 ow. Just need to hit his face a little bit more. Since that's his weak point. There we go. Let's grab that heart container. Number 11 on the second row. And the first of many crystals. Link, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. This world used to be the golden land where the Triforce was hidden. But because of Ganon, the boss of thieves, I uh, wished it the world was transformed. I'm sure he's intending to conquer even our light world after building his power here. He is trying to open a large, larger gate between worlds near the castle using our powers. But the gate is not open completely yet. If we seven maidens come together, we can break the barrier around Ganon's hiding place. I will tell you where the other girls are held. I believe you will destroy Ganon. I will return to my original form at that time. Do you understand? Yes, I do. May the way of the hero lead you to the Triforce. We've saved our first of the maidens. And now we can see where all the rest are. But that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.